right, so I was looking around my cabinets today in my freezer and refrigerator. I was wanting to cook something, but I couldn't figure out what. And I happened to find four chicken thighs that I had bought a few weeks ago on sale. And I just brought them home and froze them. And I, I thought them out, and we're going to make, we're going to try to make a simple, easy chicken pot pie. What I want to do is uh, I'm going to boil these for a while. Then I'm gonna pick the meat off the bone, and then uh, we'll make we'll try to make some chicken pot pie. So my water has come up to a bowl. I'll turn it down just a little bit. I put some salt in there just to give it a little flavor for the chicken broth. And we're gonna put all four of these chicken thighs in here. That's gonna cool the water down for a few minutes. So just for now, we're gonna turn the heat back up. Let me wash my hands off. All right, so other than the chicken that we've got boiling behind us right now, those four chicken thighs, I've got some uh, peas and carrots and corn. They're frozen, frozen vegetables. I got them sitting in that bowl. Well, let's let them thaw out just for a few minutes while the chicken's boiling. Just a generic brand of a cream, cream of chicken soup. A generic brand. What are these? Uh, butter. Flaky biscuits, the jumbo size, and some cracked black pepper. I think that's all we're going to put into it because I salted the water. This is good. I'm sure this this cream of chicken's got plenty of sodium in it. Yep, a lot. But anyway, uh, when that chicken gets done, I'm gonna pull it from the bone, and uh, we'll be back. All right, our chicken is finished. I boiled it for about I don't know 30. 35 minutes, boiled the crap out of it, but it's good. I've been taking a few taste tests of it. Now, I've got my cream of chicken soup out of the can right here. I want to add, uh, oh, that's good stuff right there. Back here, guys. You see what I'm doing? That's a that chicken broth that uh, I boiled the chicken in. I'm going to add a, a, a few ladles of this chicken broth into this cream of chicken soup and give that a good merry around <laughs> I want to cook this in my in my cast iron pan but I don't know if it's going to be enough but anyway I think it's going to be a uh, we're going to do it anyway I don't care how thin it turns out or whatever we're going to add another Say about a three quarter cup of ladle in there. Over here, guys, you're not paying attention. There you go. So that's one can of cream of chicken soup. And about, I'd say about two ladles. Two ladles of uh, chicken stock. Oh, that looks pretty good. Alright, now, here's our. Uh, Frozen vegetables that I showed you earlier. Just dump them in there. See what that looks like. Looks pretty good. That's right. Just like a soap. Four chicken thighs. Deboned and de-skinned. Take the skin off of it. Get that like, get everything in there. Get it everything. Er. Thing. Hey man, that looks pretty good the way it is right now. I'll just throw it in the oven and cook it. But we're going to put some biscuits on top of it because I need to use them. Yeah. Let me get you guys turned around here on the stove where my cast iron is. Alright. There's our cast iron skillet. Here's our mixture. Dump all this in there together. I could probably use a Pyrex dish. Oop, make it a little bit better, I don't know. A little thicker or something, but let's get all that goodness in there. Alright. Just spread that around. Ooh, yeah, I think that'll be alright. I want to add some pepper. You don't have to add pepper if you don't want to, but I want pepper in mine. Now 
those can of biscuits I showed you earlier. I think there's, I don't know how many's in here. Seven or eight, nine, ten. I don't know, but they're grands. They're big and they're biggins. So let's start around the edge, and we're going to just kind of poke them down in the center. Not in the center, but you know what I mean. Just kind of <laughs> poke them down and uh, about halfway up. Something like that. You guys see, yep, you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Ooh, I think it's going to be turn. I think it's going to turn out pretty good if you ask me. That's the last one. That's plenty. Let's make some more room. Man, what is it? Two, four, six. We got eight grand biscuits there. Press them down. I got the oven on 350. I'm going to cook it as long as the biscuit says to, which is about 15 to 18 minutes. And we'll be back. All right. I pulled it out of the oven about uh, 15 minutes ago so I could let it cool off so we could take a taste test. I threw some uh, parsley flakes on there because, you know, that's how I roll, you know, make it look good for you guys. <laughs> but anyway, you need to add about uh, 10 or 15 minutes to the cook time to the biscuits. I guess because they're not sitting on the bottom. Whatever, it took about 25 minutes for these biscuits to get the way they are. Got me a plate, got me a spatula. Let's dig into it. Oh, steam rolling, steam rolling. God, my that smells good. About two biscuits there. With the sauce. There you go. Can I handle that yet? Nope, still too hot. Move you guys over here. So what we got in here, we got a can of uh, chicken uh, cream soup. We got some frozen uh, vegetables, four chicken thighs. Oh man, that looks good. Turn it, oh, it's a flaky biscuit. I, <laughs> I see the steam, it still might be too hot, but uh, let's try it out. Mm-mm, mm. -mm. mm. It's not too hot. Mm, that's good. Wrap that around. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. That's right. Mmm. Look at that, guys. That's good stuff. Thanks for watching, as always, guys. See you next time. Bye.